Hello students, today we're going to learn, this is ukulele lesson number seven. We're gonna learn two new pitches for the ukulele. These are single pitches, not chords. Remember we talked about a chord, how it's more than one pitch at the same time. So when we would strum all four strings, that would be a chord. Single pitches, you're just playing one string at a time. So we have learned open string E, open string A, B, and C. Today we're gonna learn O, F, and G. So let's do F first. It says, oh, face in the space, right? So F is the first space, the one at the bottom. First fret, first finger, second string. So first fret, first finger, one, two, second string. That's the E string, right? So I push it down, that's F. Now I can easily go from open E, F, E, F, right? And then G, I'm just gonna leave that one finger resting there. Go to G, crazy Elvis's guitar. Third fret, third finger, second string. So here's my one, two, third fret, third finger, and one, two, second string. So I'm gonna take this one finger off of the F there, but just rest him above so he can go down quickly. Play that E string, that second string there. Here's my G, so now I have E, F, G. E, F, G, very good. And A, B, C. Hear how the pitches get higher? E, F, G, A, B, C. Very nice. Now we're gonna play hot cross buns. So let's figure out our pitches. This is gonna introduce a new symbol and some rhythm, right? So let's figure out the rhythm first. If we look at this first note, it's colored in, no tails at the top, that's a quarter note. A quarter note gets one beat. Another quarter note, one beat. And then we have a half note. Half notes get two beats. And that repeats in the second measure here. Then our rhythm changes. Now we have these tails at the top. These are all eighth notes. Remember, eighth notes get half a beat each. Very good. Then the third measure again, quarter note, quarter note, half note. So now let's look at that time signature. Remember, rhythm has to do with that time signature because we're adding up the beats. There is a four on top, which means I should have four beats in each measure. Measures are separated by these bar lines. So what's one plus one? Two. Two plus two is four. This measure works. Remember, this measure is exactly the same. So now let's add some halves. One half plus one half equals one whole. One half and one, one half equals a whole. One half plus one half equals a whole, and one half plus one half equals a whole. So eight halves equals four holes. So again, we have four beats. So now let's figure out the pitches for our song today. This first one is in the space, right? Face in the space, F, A. This next one's on a line. Crazy Elvis's guitar. And this next one's again in the space, F, the bottom space there. And it looks like our pitch repeats again. F, A, Crazy Elvis's guitar. Right? All right, looks like we stay on that bottom pitch. F, 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 go back up to G, 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 G. Then we repeat A, G, F. And look at that, we have a repeat sign. So then we'll go back and do it again. So this is Hot Cross Buns. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you. I didn't practice it, I hope I can do it. Okay, I got it. All right, here we go. Go ahead and try to follow along there, or you can look at my fingers, but either way, you gotta learn the pitches as you practice. So, A, G, F, A, G, F, 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 G, 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 A, G, F. Get it? Should repeat right so then if I play that and add the words there we go get those fingers ready hot cross buns hot cross buns one a penny two a penny hot cross buns and then it repeats 
and that is hot cross buns with our F, our G, and the A. Get practicing.